Good morning, and welcome to the meeting of the Subcommittee on uh, Zoning and Franchises. I'm uh, Council Member Francisco Moya, the Chairperson of the Subcommittee, uh, and we are joined here today by Council Members uh, Rivera, Reynoso, uh, Levin, Richards, Gradenchek. If we also, if there is uh, anyone here to testify, please fi fill out a speaker slip with uh, Sergeant at Arms indicating your full name and the application name or LU number. Today we will hear LU 463, uh, an application by the New York City Department of Housing Preservation and Development for the disposition of city-owned property, lot three on block 2360, pursuant to the private housing finance law in connection with the Brook 156 rezoning in committee chair Salamanca's district in the Bronx. Uh, I now open the public hearing on this application and I would call up uh, Artie Pearson. And Council, if you can please swear in the panel. Please state your name for the, uh, as part of your response. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and you will answer all questions truthfully? Yes. You may begin. Thank you. Um, I'm Artie Pearson from HBD's uh, Office of uh, Intergovernmental Affairs. Land use number 463 pertains to the disposition approval of a city-owned lot located at uh, Block 2360, Lot 3 in the Melrose section of the Bronx and Council Districts. 17. This land use item is related to other land use items that were previously approved by the subcommittee. Brook 156 will be developed by the sponsor, Phipps Houses, who proposes to construct a residential building under HPD's extremely I'm low. I'm sorry, uh, could you just move the microphone a little closer? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, under HPD's uh, extremely low and low income program, also known as ELLA. Under the Yellow Program, sponsors develop multifamily buildings in order to create low income rental housing for families with a range of incomes from 30% to 60% of the area median income. And projects may include a tier of units with rents targeted to households earning up to 100% of the AMI. Subject to project underwriting, up to 30% of the units may be rented to formerly homeless households referred by the Department of Homeless Housing or other public agencies. The project consists of the city-owned lot and adjacent privately-owned lot, which is lot one. Lot one is a former rail, a former rail right of way, uh, or an inactive open cut railroad trench. Both lots were designated as part of the urban renewal site 404 under the Mott Haven North uh, Urban Renewal Plan in 1994. It should be noted that while Mott Haven Urban Renewal Plan will not expire until 2034, the land use restrictions on Site 404 did expire in 2008. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony today. Thank you. Uh, are there any other members of the public who wish to testify? Uh, seeing none, I now close the public hearing uh, and we'll move uh, to our votes. We will now vote to approve LU-463, the application that was heard today by the subcommittee submitted by HPD for the disposition of city-owned property related to uh, the Brook 156 rezoning in committee Chair Salamanca's district in the Bronx. Chairman Salamanca is in support of this application. We will also vote to approve LU-438, an application by uh, Central Boulevard Restaurant, LLC, American Brass, for a revocable consent to maintain, operate, and use an unenclosed sidewalk cafe at 201 50th Avenue in Council Member, in Council Member of Van Bramer's District in Queens. Uh, we will be voting to approve this cafe, the size of which has been adjusted in response to community concerns from 24 tables and 86 seats to 12 tables and 48 seats. Council Member Van Bramer has stated his support for this application based on the applicant's written points of agreement noted in the record. Uh, today we will also vote to approve LU uh, 419 for the Court Square Block 3 text amendment in Queens. The proposal would modify height and setback regulations applicable to Block 3 in Court Square subdistrict of the special Long Island City District to facilitate the development of a new approximately 45-story mixed-use building. Council, 
Council Member Van Bramer uh, is in support of this application. Uh, I now call for a vote to approve LUs 419, 438, and 463. Council, uh, please call the roll. Chair Moya. Uh, aye on all. Council Member Rivera. Aye. Council Member Levin. Levin. Aye. Council Member Richards. Aye. Council Member Reynoso. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, uh, the items are approved and referred to the full language committee. Just keep it open. Yeah. <laughs> and continuing vote. Council Member Gredenchik. Okay. A vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the items are approved and referred to the language committee. This concludes today's meeting. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending. Uh, this meeting is hereby adjourned. Ready? Check, 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 check. June 26, 2019, hearing on land use being recorded by Eddie and Charisse.